Good morning. First of all, I would like to thank Dr. Achim Wenman, Executive Coordinator of the Geneva Peacebuilding Platform, for giving us the opportunity to express the voice of South America, of Argentina, and of Tucumán, a state located in the northwest of Argentina from which we see the world. In terms of promoting programs related to inclusion, I like to highlight the following. In the robotics laboratory of the Innovation Center of the Ministry of Education, the robotics team developed a device for sticks in order to help people with visual disabilities to detect elements at a distance through sensors that vibrate and make sound. Also, in cooperation with the United Nations, particularly with UNICEF, we developed a pilot experience which has been rated very well at national level. It is called Maternity Rooms, Adolescent Maternity and Paternity, the Right to Education. It consists of incorporating maternity wards to state-run secondary schools in Tucumán. We also have a program called Back to School. This project provides the possibility that young people and adults can reintegrate into the system and access new opportunities. The School for Workers, or the Worker School, is a program in labor training, aimed both to the acquisition and improvement of workers' qualifications and to response to the need of social productive and labor sector, thus promoting new opportunities for employment. Fifthly, Educación en Contextos de Encierro, modality of education in confinement contexts. We provide educational attention to 600 students in the Video Orquiza Penitentiary Complex. Sixth, the Mercosur Youth Parliament Programme, dependent on the Provincial Coordination of Policies for Social Inclusion of the Ministry of Education, carried out an information session that summoned coordinators from 122 schools throughout the province. The Student Cabinet, G21, UR Government, is an initiative of the Ministry of Education of Tucumán in order to replicate the cabinet of officials of our ministry, the PAS program or social learning program, which develops educational proposals addressing issues and intervening in institutional processes that aim to strengthen relationships between peers and improve school coexistence. Turning to programs related to integration with the world, First, the Ministry has carried out four editions of the International Congress of Education, whose main objective is providing a space to reflect and share new knowledge related to innovation, inclusion, diversity and educational quality. Speakers from the five continents participated during the fourth editions. We also have the International Observatory of Educational Policies in order to share with specialists from the world and the community in a space for exchange and discussions of the new challenges that education faces. Thirdly, the relationship with different organizations. Among them, the Embassy of France, the Global Online Learning Alliance, UNICEF, the Inter-American Network of Teacher Education, the SICOSUR, the U.S. Embassy and the Fulbright Foundation, OCDE, that is the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, the Varki Foundation, the Wiesenthal Center, 
and the City College of New York. We also aim, along with the United Nations, to the SDG. In that respect, we promote FORMARA, which is a program for free and universal teacher training. Secondly, the program More Science, in which we collaborate with the scientific agency of Tucumán and Argentina to develop actions for construction, acquisition, dissemination of scientific and technological knowledge. Educatec is an event that stimulates educational quality and inclusion, promoting outreach proposals, scientific and technological exposure. I would also like to mention the SDG, that is, the Terrestrial Ecosystem Life Climate Action. In that respect, Educativa, in Spanish, is a program whose objective is to take care of the environment in a systematic and integrated way. The program seeks to promote practices to work on environmental education as a tool for social transformation in students throughout the province. We implemented Clima Activa, a climate forum, along with the Ministry of Health, with the participation of 9,000 teachers, which is a meeting space to analyze the climate reality and agree on future actions for adaptation and mitigation of global warming. We can only build peace through dialogue. In order to dialogue, we need to listen to all the voices around the world. That's why I am grateful to have the opportunity to speak for those whom I represent, to whom I belong here in the countryside of Argentina, in the very south of the world and bring our voice. We believe that education is the only way to bring peace to the world. It's not just about fighting against war, it is about building peace. It's not about fight against, it is to something that we love and we're willing to struggle for.